big, you know, and big stories. And stories about Sita, and stories about Draupadi, and stories from the epics, stories from the myths, stories about monkeys, stories about elephants. So he told a lot of stories. And then when he finished the story, he felt very hungry, like how we are all feeling now, okay? And very tired. So he would go and knock on the door. And in those days, of course, people were very hospitable. So come, come and have lunch. So he sat down for lunch and heard another knock. And the lady went, opened the door, and banged the door. She was also wanting to serve and finish off with that. So she served him, he had his food, and he went, rested for a while, went to another village, and again started telling stories. Those days, no electricity, so in the evening he would finish all his storytelling. When he went near the river bank, he wanted to sleep under a tree when he heard someone <laughs> crying. Because every time he was about to eat, there would be another knock, and then the person, the owner of the house, would always go and bang. So he was wondering who was following him. And then he saw a little girl, and she was crying profusely, and she said, Maudie, I, I came behind you, I, I'm now feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you were the one who came behind. Oh, don't worry. He looked around and he found some fruits on the trees, climbed up, got those fruits down, had that little girl eat and said, now go to sleep, we'll see tomorrow morning. The next morning, she got up and both of them had taken a good bath and he was about to leave and he said, now hold my finger and come along with me. So as she was going along, he asked her, what's your name? I didn't ask you. And she said, my name is Truth. And he said, ah, that's why people bang the door on your face. <laughs> and he also said, you don't have to follow me anymore. You come along with me. So they say that wherever the storyteller goes, the truth always goes along with the storyteller. Right? <laughs> so thank you. I think we've had a nice